It's the one thing we always have within an arm's reach, our cell phones. So the recent big changes in their technology can really affect our lives. This year at CES, we break down three of the hottest new phones. So the biggest trend with cell phones this year and uh, started significantly last year is uh, Google introduced their Android operating system, which is a completely new operating system for phones. This is the first uh, operating system that has anywhere close to the number of features and the ease of use of the iPhone. Google wants to increase how much people use Google search, get it into every part of the world they possibly can. So they made this operating system and they're giving it to Motorola and HTC and all these other handset manufacturers for free. So the big trend we're seeing here at CES is all these different device manufacturers, including Motorola here that's behind me, have released Android phones. From my perspective, I really care about speed on the mobile. And so Google just released their Nexus One, which is the first phone with a gigahertz processor in it. So the Nexus One is very sleek industrial design. It doesn't have a fold-out keyboard. It's completely touchscreen. So it's the closest thing anybody has come on the hardware side to being like the iPhone. Uh, they made a few modifications from the iPhone. It's got more, the iPhone only has two buttons on it. The Nexus One has something like six and a little uh, scroll wheel on it. But in general, it's very, very similar, but with a faster processor than the iPhone has, at least in terms of clock speed. Uh, the Nexus One looks like it may be uh, just as durable and maybe more long-lasting than the iPhone because the iPhone has a built-in battery. Fortunately, with the Nexus One, it's a removable battery, so if your battery dies in the middle of a trip, you can take two batteries with you. The other very interesting thing about it is you pick the phone, you decide you want the Nexus One, and then you can choose between T-Mobile and Verizon. That's something that's never been done before, and I think it's really going to blow the uh, relationship between, really going to change the relationship between the carriers and the handset manufacturers. Google's saying, this is a phone, if you want the phone, great, and then you pick which wireless carrier you want to run on. Motorola's also released some phones. They've got their Droid, which is the other fast uh, Android phone, and then there's some lower-end phones. Uh, Motorola's introduced the backflip here at CES, which has a compelling form factor and some interesting unique hardware, but it's not as fast as the Droid or the Nexus One. This is the uh, Motorola Backflip with Modo Blur, which was announced at CES on Wednesday. It's our third Android device and features a never seen before backflip keyboard. The keyboard actually flips backwards. This means that you have a lot more space for the real QWERTY keyboard to be able to uh, text message. We also have an exclusive backtrack technology on the back, which enables me to use my finger to navigate around uh, the screen, just like a nav pad on a, on a laptop. It also goes into tabletop mode, uh, which was, is great for playing a uh, digital picture frame, comes up as a digital alarm clock, can also play movies on it. It also has a full touch screen, regular uh, Android phone, with over 16,000 applications available uh, from the Android market. And, f and on the map back flip with Modo Blur, you have three widgets, which you can't get anywhere else. They manage all of your social networks, emails, text messages, all fed through to your home screen. So for example, I click on my status update, and rather go than going into separate applications, I can update my status update on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, all straight from one uh, widget. I also have widgets for all of my messages, uh, my happenings, also manages all of my contacts for me. Uh, so all of my contacts from my social networks, emails, are brought to the device. From what I can see here, the interesting thing, the most interesting thing about it is probably this uh, trackpad and the way the phone flips. Um, Ravi, my friend here, brought up a really good point. The camera, I don't know if you can see it, the camera is on the front um, with the keyboard. So that kind of opens up a little bit of video conferencing where you can see yourself as you're looking at the screen, whereas with most phones, it's on the back, so you'd always be holding it like this. I mean, like I said, I'd want to see what's on the inside, you know, what's, what, what it's running, uh, especially with uh, the Droid being here as well. Um, definitely probably one of the biggest con competitors for it. This is the Droid by Motorola, exclusively available in the US with Verizon. It was the first product in the world to ship on Android 2.0, the very latest operating system for smartphones. Has a super bright 3.7 inch display with over 400,000 pixels and an awesome web browser. I get super fast web pages brought up through to the uh, screen from uh, 3G coverage and also the 500 megahertz processor. I can hook this up with pretty much any uh, email client, be it Exchange, 
Gmail, Yahoo, and it has the world's thinnest QWERTY sliding keyboard, so a full QWERTY keyboard. As well as that is a great uh, media device. It has a five megapixel camera with dual LED flash and records in DVD quality video. This is one that just caught my eye because it has a five megapixel camera. And I mean, the, the, black, the storm that I have, it's just three or two megapixels. So it's, a, it's an improvement, you know? It's a big screen. I didn't think it would be that big. It's pretty revolutionary in terms of the first non-Apple phone that's been really usable. And this, this phone is very responsive. It's the first Android, Android phone that I've seen that is fast enough that I would want to use it on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. <laughs>